Not everyone is a fan of converting their bike into a trike, but if you really want to do something like this, then, well, you've come to the right place. Hello, and welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to tell you about the features of the Honda Goldwing Tour DCT and the features of our converted California sidecar. Let's talk first about the Honda Goldwing Tour DCT. The Goldwing is one of Honda's longest-running vehicles and has been essential to the company's growth, especially in the United States. The first Goldwing, the GL1000 from 1975, was the second most powerful production motorcycle at the time, behind the Kawasaki Z1, which had been inspired by Honda's King of Kings M1 prototype. The GL1000 is a benchmark in terms of quiet, refined operation because of its flat four-engine design and liquid cooling. The Goldwing opened up a new market by satisfying people's desire for comfortable, long-distance motorcycle transportation. Honda's new touring customers were a vital part of the design and development process because of the bike's comfortable and reliable nature, which encouraged more people to ride longer distances. With time, the GL's peak torque RPM shifted closer to the cruising RPM because owners were ready to sacrifice top-end power for greater intermediate performance. The Goldwing's engine is a superbly tuned 1,833cc flat six that uses liquid cooling to produce a hefty helping of silky smooth torque at the handlebars. Putting the Goldwing into tour mode slows down the throttle response and allows the optional 7-speed dual-clutch transmission DCT, to quickly shift into higher gears to maintain a low engine speed and maximize fuel economy. The Goldwing's four modes are Tour, the default, Sport, Eco, and Rain. At any time, by simply pushing a switch on the right throttle side of the handlebar, you can choose between these four modes. After confirming by reversing the twist grip's direction, the mode will begin operating normally. You can even do it in the middle of a corner, though we wouldn't recommend it. Each of the four settings modifies the DCT's throttle response and engine revs during gear changes. The throttle response in sports mode is much more forceful, and the transmission will normally hold each lower gear for a longer period of time and peak in fifth gear for maximum acceleration. Low grip circumstances are best experienced in rain mode, which is beautifully quiet compared to tour and eco modes. The modes also modify the aggressiveness of the vehicle's traction control and anti-lock brake system. As safety features, TC and ABS are often unnoticed by the rider. The rider's experience is greatly influenced by the power delivery and shift points. Honda's Goldwing, and notably the Tour version, has set the standard for long-distance riding comfort for decades. The wing's passenger backrest angle will increase from 17 degrees in 2020 to 24.5 degrees in 2021. This more relaxed position is thought to assist in decreasing pressure on the passenger's hips. As a result, the seat is now 30 millimeters higher and the foam is 5 millimeters thicker. The new bike also came with increased storage. The top trunk has been enlarged by Honda by 48 millimeters in width, 46 millimeters in height, and 34 millimeters in depth. The company claims that this is sufficient space for two XXL full-face helmets with headsets. In addition, the grab handles on the side of the seat have been moved up and redesigned to better accommodate the passenger. When traveling long distances, passengers will not experience any discomfort thanks to the ergonomic design of the rear floorboards. If you're looking for a fantastic motorbike, go no further than the 2021 Honda Goldwing Tour DCT. The unusual Showa double wishbone single lock front suspension absorbs and returns energy effectively from the road's undulations. Due to the wing's connected braking system, the bike's center of gravity remains stable even while applying heavy force to the front brake for certain curves. In order to keep the center of gravity low, the flat six engine is mounted low in the chassis. As a result, the Goldwing's enormous weight becomes less noticeable during the ride. The motorcycle is very agile for weighing half a ton or more, making it ideal for long distance, high end touring. Notable features of the Goldwing include its superb aerodynamics and electric windshield. 
The display drops to its lowest setting when the vehicle is stopped, yet it remembers its previous setting when the engine is started. With a flick of a switch on the left handlebar, you can effortlessly raise or lower it without making a peep. Now, let's talk about how we converted this amazing bike. The first thing we did is to add tie-down mounts here, which means that you'll be able to haul this bike on a trailer if you feel the need. Another thing we added is a front-end rake. It maintains all the things that Honda has put in there and basically acts like a power steering. We highly recommend this, as who doesn't want to make their bike easier to ride? We've also added the switchblade highway pegs. You can rest your foot here, which makes all those long-term trips that much more comfortable. Moreover, one of the things we like the most is the ground effects. Not only do they protect your feet from water and debris, but they also look damn good on your trike. Another thing that is nice is the wind deflectors. Basically, on cold days, they'll keep the air off you, and on warm days, you can change them to feel that comfortable breeze. Now, when we added the trike kit to the bike, we also put in performance brakes, which not only complement Honda's design, but also add more to the safety of the bike. Oh. And the most fun part is that this trike will be able to pull a trailer. We've added a feature on its back that will allow you to remove any sort of load. Within reason, that is. After all, this is still a bike. And if you think that it can pull even the heaviest of loads, then you're mistaken, my friends. Another feature we really want you guys to look at is the added trunk space. So this opens directly with a button. This is around 8.35 cubic feet and is the largest trunk in the business CSC build category. The best part is that it is easily accessible and you can fit a lot of things into it. It's even got a net, which means that you can safely store small items and they won't roll all over the place. You've got other pockets as well, which means that there is a lot of storage room here and you can fit quite a lot of things inside. This is just a great build overall. Things like this can range from around forty-six to $47,000, and it really depends on the sort of stuff you want to put on or in your bike. Like, if you want to go for higher priced accessories, then the price will go up. It's as simple as that. But if you really want to convert your bike into a trike, then we can give you a few recommendations. The main thing that you should get is the ground effects and the front and end rake. Those are just plain important. And then you could also go for the chrome wheel upgrade as we did on our bike. It just looks good. The light bars and the rear brake lights are also part of our recommendation, but in the end, it is up to you. Or to put it simply, it depends on the amount of money you're willing to put in. So that's all the time we had today, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to remain updated about all our future videos. See you all next time.